Urban Access, man, we've been down for a long time now. Every year we walk hand in hand like Laurel and Hardy, you understand me? It's like Run DMC, Sway and DP, Urban Access, baby. This your edit right there. Boom. Urban Access. Spotlight. The one and only Cardi B, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. Oh, In the morning. So. Wait, you fuck ass up. That cursed child. Yo, Michael Blackson is here, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. John C. Riley, Sway the Morning Shade 45, Ralph Grace the Internet, November 21st. The one and only Kevin Hart is back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is the morning show on the radio. Shade 45, yeah. Sway do it up. What? Have to be in the cut. You about to fuck it up. Jamie, Jamie Fox to the left, and I'm so deaf. I can do this shit until I run out of breath. God damn. Daniel Perry, Urban Access Season 2. We're at the DLS Men's Conference, and we're here with the legendary media mogul Sweat. Stop doing that, DP. You know you legendary in your own right, man. I appreciate the compliment, oh, sir. Man, I appreciate did. the compliment. You in the process of legendary. You in the process right now. So this is a part of the legendary status, man. Yes, sir. Okay, you already did. Such an honor. Oh, man. I heard you talking in the conference mm -hmm. just about, like, original programming and just mm -hmm. how original programming is affecting audiences. I'm really curious as to how you feel about just Revolt TV in general, if you can Speak TV? On yeah, I can speak on whatever. Um, I love um, Diddy. I love Diddy. And, and let me explain to you why. Um, Jay-Z, Nas, Diddy, some of these guys, RZA, that I came up, we came up, we all came up at the same time. And we came up at a time where we were, you know, through trial and error, finding and creating and uh, identifying opportunities that could take our careers, take the culture, take our community one step further. So from the time he was a promoter in college to becoming an intern, to becoming a record executive, a manager, uh, to all these different businesses that he's owned, uh, that he started, some might have been successful, some may not have been so successful, but every time he's done something, it sparked the mind of somebody else that this is possible, that this can be done. So his idea to start his own TV network, Revolt, I remember prior to it starting, he actually, him and I talked about it. And there was a, a, a possibility that I would go over there at some point to Revolt and, and, and work with him. Uh, but at that time, man, it's just, man, you know, I was so deep rooted in MTV. I was like, man, I can't walk away from this. Uh, uh, just, I'm just, I'm doing so much work over here that's been successful. I, how about I be here, you be there, but I'm gonna introduce you to somebody that can help you launch, get the content part of it um, even better. So I introduced him to Ramon Dukes, uh, um, and Ramon was working with me at MTV. I, I, Ramon didn't even know what was going on. I said, I got a meeting over somewhere, just follow me. And I knew that day that I was gonna say, hey, I can't do this, but I can help, and y'all need to hire this guy. And did he hire them? And Ramon Dukes for for years was running their whole digital space. He brought on Shaheen Reed, you know, uh, Jason Rodriguez, um, and all of these folks worked at MTV at one point. Diddy opened the door for that and showed a lot of kids like my daughter and her friends that, hey man, ownership, proprietorship. Let's control the networks that, uh, a network that is presenting our culture and make the decisions on our own. Yep. And so the theory, the, I, the, the concept of revolt is something I, I salute, uh, I commend. I know he wanted to put a lot of youth in there to run it. Uh, which a lot of folks weren't, you know, at the end of the day, they, they, they want to identify with youth and they want to market and promote to youth, but you don't want to let youth come in and tell you how, what's appealing to them, how it could and should be done, or at least train youth. So in their time, in their evolution, they'll be able to take over the reins. And Diddy did that. So I think Revolt and what it stands for, the name itself, how it launched on um, Biggie's uh, on, on doorsteps um, in Brooklyn, all of those different things, he, he, I, I appreciate it. So I, I love what was going on with Revolt. Do you still have executive like production privileges over at MTV? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm an executive like a producer of TRL. Um, um, the new TRL that just launched? The one that I do. Yes. Yes, the one that I host. Uh, I'm an EP on that. Um, I VP'd a bunch of shows um, on MTV. I VP shows on BET. I VP'd a show on VH1. I VP shows that have been on different alternative platforms uh, like Netflix. Do you mind me asking the shows at BET and, and VH1? 
Uh, with BET, I had a show called One Shot uh, that was kind of a variety show, kind of like they're doing a show called um, uh, the, the Next Big, the Next, they got a show now called The Next Big Thing, I think it's called, or uh, One Shot was kind of a iteration of that prior, uh, its, its predecessor. Um, uh, on the, la the last one I did on VH1 was uh, a movie show um, that we, the, in the last movie we did was Ice Cube's Barbershop, um, the movie, um, the third installment of Barbershop, I'm trying to think of what he called it, because it ain't, I gotta say that right, yeah, okay, okay, and then, but what we did is we, it was, because it was based in Chicago, um, I would take the movie and the movie theme, um, and if it's based in a city like Chicago, uh, go around, we went around Chicago to barbershops and different places and tied in what was going on in the, in the, in the city, what was going on in the movie, and, 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 and pushed that off. So it's, it's, and it's been a lot of other shows over the years. Uh, My Block, um, that I was an EP on, um, All Eyes On, different shows I've done over the years, different short films. I don't like talking about them much. I got you. Yeah, I but yeah, it's a whole, but since you asked, yeah. No, definitely. Um, one more question. I, I saw that um, it was you did a recent interview, sit down interview with Eminem, and at the end of the interview, like he handed you the, the King, uh, the King Tech, and the Sway disc. And, you know, he had it. He wanted you to sign it. Just how did that moment feel, just coming from Eminem? Uh, that was <laughs> that caught me off guard when he did that. I ain't gonna lie to you. It was, uh, it was, it was warming because uh, that single he actually had was a single called um, In Control. And uh, on the flip side was a song called Baddest Mother Mother on Two Turntables. That single was the first single. We, King Tech and I were independent artists. We had our own company, All City Records, prior. And then we signed a deal with Giant Warner Brothers. Um, and that single was the second single we did under that deal, which reminds me of a time when I was a teenager in the struggle, trying to figure shit out. And so for him to dig that up, because our relationship is when before he was signed, he was coming to our show every week, we was trying to get people to recognize him. I got pictures of him playing basketball in my, at my house in LA, you know, in my studio, filming stuff like early before he became who he is. So for him, after all of these years reaching those heights, We've interviewed a ton of times to dig that up. I mean, he either somebody told him or he really did the research. And he's a hip hop fanatic. And I believe he did the research because the conversation we were having in between the clips that y'all saw should have been the interview. The shit we was talking about in between the clips, y'all, and a lot of stuff got edited out. But that, that could have been the interview. But I thought that was a a good interview because it's a way we've heard I've never even heard him talk in that voice yep. so much you know and it was a while but since he gave like that personable man. that kind of personable interview there's a few things that we didn't cover uh, some things like I said got edited out but um, thank you I appreciate your feedback on that yeah no problem man no problem can you tell us your social media just where we can find you if anything uh, yes I'm at Real Sway across the board uh, Twitter and Instagram or you can find me at Real Sway um, on, on Facebook um, Sway Cal Callaway. Uh, SwaysUniverse.com is our website. Sways Universe is the, the YouTube channel. Sway in the morning. It's a lot of swaying in there, baby. Come on, man. It's all about that branding, man. DP, you good? You good? Oh, uh, sorry. Sway Callaway, Urban Access TV, Donnell Perry. Thank uh, the media legend right here, man. Uh, you don't mind if I call you DP, though, right? Man, absolutely. I'm okay. good. I'm all right. good. Okay. Oh, my. Fuck my life. I think I'm too high, just whip the whole pipe Checked it twice and now I need a Sprite Ho, you a hoe, like, act a shy But you gon' fuck tonight, I feel like Oh my, fuck my life, cause bitch I'm way too high Wait, hold on, oh my, fuck my life Bitch I'm way too high, just whip the whole pipe Checked it twice and now I need a Sprite Ho, you a hoe, like, act a shy But you gon' fuck tonight, I feel like Oh my, fuck my life, but bitch I'm way, cause bitch I'm way too high